Hi guys, welcome to Origin. So for all intents and purposes, my camcorder is now dead. Every future video will be made on this webcam. The frame rate was kind of screwed up on the last one, but this one should be okay. I got a few requests to make a video about antinatalism. I'm going to say right now that I do have reservations about this because a lot of people have made videos about antinatalism already. It's, uh, it's kind of been one of the hot topics over the past few months and I don't want to be one of those people that just makes videos about the same thing that everyone else is making videos about. For example, one of the YouTube one of the YouTubers I'm subscribed to, Anakantavad, he's made literally over a hundred videos about antinatalism. And it's been addressed from many different angles now. The one that I'm gonna address it from is I think well certainly one that I've not seen addressed so far. And that's to address the, oh, the the main thing which I think antinatalism gets right. We live in a world that has just recently gone past 7 billion people. If certain documentaries I've seen, certain things I've read are to be believed, I think it was even addressed by Concordance at one point. I'll link the video if I can find it. We're also facing an energy crisis that even at the rate we're producing new wind farms and nuclear plants and stuff like that, by the time the oil runs out, we're not going to have enough energy to meet the needs of the world. Now, especially if that's true, but even if it's not, this is something for would-be parents to consider. Antinatalism doesn't like the idea of birth in general, and because of that fact, simply because we as humans will want to live on I don't think it'll ever become a philosophy that has any great success. In an increasingly overpopulated world, while I would never want to go down the China route of legislating against it, having tons and tons of kids isn't a great idea, and it, it wouldn't be something to be encouraged in such a world. I think with proper education we'll end up having less kids, and I see that as a more practical philosophy than antinatalism. Having said all that, I try to be fair to different and controversial opinions, and if any antinatalists want me to address a specific point, if uh, there's an argument floating around which you don't think's received a fair treatment, I'm perfectly willing to do that, be as fair as I possibly can, to think it through, give you my response to it. I've made my biases clear, but if an argument does come up that I just can't refute, I'll admit it. Whether I then slightly tweak my position as it currently stands or change it completely depends on the argument, but you will get total honesty from me. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.